All right, so this is a suggestion via a donation. The name of the video is, uh, should we do more to reduce violence in our dreams? Uh, this is coming from the channel, uh, The Onion. I uh, never encountered them before, but uh, let's go ahead and check it out. Um, all right. I'm Gregory Dawson, filling in for Clifford Baines, who is racing to the airport to catch the woman he loves. A recent survey conducted by the American Center for Sleep Research found that nearly 40% of all dreams contain graphic images of violence. Should we be doing more to reduce the level of violence in our dreams? Yes. All too often, the violence in my dreams is totally gratuitous or done by my brain just to shock me. You know, I know what you mean. For example, the other night, I had a dream in which I lost my car, and when I finally found it, it was full of... Limbs. Now, is all of that gore really necessary? Yes, you can't close your eyes without... Bro, well, well, the other night, I had a dream in which I lost my car, and when I finally found it, it was full of dismembered limbs. Now, is all of that gore really necessary? Yes, you can't... Okay, is this real? Because I don't... Uh, this is not my experience. I don't think I dream like this, guys. Um, but if there are people out here... Guys, hold on. <laughs> Let's see this real rise without being bombarded with horrible images, uh, wild oh, animals, Christ killers. A blood drenched Best Buy employee trying to sell you a baby. Yes, yeah, studies what have happened? shown the majority of people who are convicted of violent crimes have a history of dreaming. Yes, but aren't people intelligent enough to know the difference between dream violence and real life violence? Yes, they are. Now, I have a recurring dream where I kill each one of you with a hacksaw and then hide your dismembered bodies underneath this table. But that. Bro. Bro, wait a second. Okay, this has to be satire. This can't be real. All right, we're going to go back to the beginning just so we can grasp this all. But absolutely not real. Definitely satire. Listen, how you guys are delivering this is absolutely spectacular um, in terms of like, you know, realism factors here. Um, but for sleep research, I found don't think I go through this. Of all dreams contain graphic images of violence. Should we be doing more to reduce the level of violence in our dreams? Yes. All too often, the violence in my dreams is totally gratuitous or right. done by my brain just to shock me. You know, I know what absolutely. you mean. For example, the other night, I had a dream in which I lost my car, and when I finally found it, it was full of limbs. Now, is all of that gore really necessary? Yes, you can't close your eyes without being bombarded with horrible images, wild I said to close my eyes for a moment. Animals, Christ killers. Blood drenched Best Buy employee trying to sell you a baby. Yes, studies that's have shown the, the majority of people who are convicted of violent that's that's history weird. of dreaming. Yes, but aren't people intelligent enough to know the difference between dream violence and real life violence? Yes, they, they are. should Now, be. I have a recurring dream where I kill each one of you with a hacksaw and then hide your bodies underneath this table. But that right. does not mean I'm going to act on that because I know it's not real. No matter how vivid each nuance of my mirror of no, each Duncan, one of you might Duncan, be. The statistics show that dream inspired <laughs> violence is on the rise. Yes. My dream got so violent, I stopped sleeping months ago. Okay. When was the last time you actually slept? That's why you're yawning. Get those mother spiders off of me. It's terrible. Most dreams these days are just and violence strung together with meaningless dialogue between me and a dolphin with the Yankees cow. Yes, the actual content of dreams is often very inappropriate. Oh, it's over the top. Filthy! Yes, exactly. Thank that you, Nancy. That sheep dog is filthy! Yes, well, the fact is, it is time You're for the government things. to get involved. And yes, do we that. need to demand accountability for the people who are responsible for these violent dreams. That is not Julian Moore. Dreams, prescription drug makers, networks that run late-night movies, mm -hmm. spicy food manufacturers. But dreams are right. often triggered by repressed memories, so now we're holding our memories accountable, too? If that's what we right. need to do to be. clean up our dreams, yes. This is the uh, lowest price of the season. But I don't need a baby. Then why did you go to Best Buy? It's, it doesn't make any what? sense. That's what you came for. Now, don't you see one you like? Uh, I, I don't think I have any money. <laughs> so, what was the idea? Because the would require. Is that it, Nancy? Nancy? Right. Nancy? Bro, I'm going to let you guys know right now, I am not sure that this can be posted in 2023. We're going to go ahead and try it, though. We're going to give it the, the old college try, but it most likely will have to be censored in terms of some of the words that are being used, unfortunately. Now, here's the thing. Um, just to add, like, a logical, you know, uh, stance on this here. I do think things like spicy food and so, or things that are like extremely acidic do have the ability to kind of bring up like the terrible sides of human nature. Um, 
I don't know. Well, I guess things that can also be like visually like entered into your brain also could probably do that right before you go to sleep. But I do think that it's more likely to be something like spicy or like savory that also does this for you, probably more so than a visual aid such as a, such as a horror movie, most likely. Just obviously speculation. Um, the Onion News Network, we hear. Uh, this was odd. First encounter. I definitely would like to encounter more. I think we probably have another one. All right. We shall be getting into that as soon as we possibly can, guys. All right. But listen, um, it took me a while to kind of... Guys, this was done very well. All right. For me not knowing anything about this or, or anything about the sketch nature of it, right? Oh, is it even a sketch or is it just like, like troll news articles? <laughs> if either way. We're here for it, guys. Listen, uh, let me know in the comments on the next one of these from them that I should be checking out, and I will get into that as soon as I possibly can, all right? Listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day, and enjoy your day thoroughly.